Good morning, this is Dr. TF and I am going to uh, give you a program on interfaces in uh, Golang. Okay, so initially uh, this uh, import statement I think it's clear to you. Uh, this package is we already seen. Import, we are going to import more than one preprocessor. So FMT you have seen it already, it is going to be a format function for general input output. And MATH is going to be because we are going to implement some kind of math functions like pi here okay, in this program. So uh, for that we are trying to import this preprocessor MATH. Okay, so let's get to the main and we'll go ahead how uh, this program executes. Okay, so this is a function main main program, and there we have these two variables. Okay, circle and rectangle. And if you followed my uh, last video, you might have known these two variables are going to take a map data type. Okay, so circle and rectangle are going to map data type where we have a key value pair like this. Okay, we have a three key value pair for circle to implement its area, and for rectangle we do have two uh, key value pairs. Okay, so once this is over, we get a value that is the key value pairs for circle and rectangle that can be used to calculate the area. Okay, and finally the output of uh, circle area and rectangular area we can just get it through this uh, printf statement so taking this printf statement we do have uh, a particular method here get area of circle okay so once this particular method is executed it looks for a get area function so this get area function is going to be um, is, is was defined here okay so uh, the compiler looks for this uh, get area function and in this function we have this argument here that is shape shape okay so this argument it's a type the compiler understands that it's going to be a type because it doesn't qualify for any primitive data type okay so this particular type of variable it tries to the compiler tries to look into this particular program okay when a shape is encountered it's so it's encountered over here okay uh, so again as I told before I mean as it encounters a word shape here it is going to identify that it's not a uh, primitive data type it could be a structure or interface and it goes the control of the compiler goes over here okay when it goes over here we have this word shape which is an identifier for a particular type of data okay which is not a primitive one uh, so uh, on the left side there's a type keyword and it confirms that it is going to be type and on the right side it has an interface keyword okay so now uh, the compiler confirms the fact that shape is an interface type of variable so what is an interface it is going to represent a set of method signatures nothing more than that okay so it is going to give some kind of method that will be a signature for number of uh, structured methods okay nothing more than that so in this interface we do have a single method signature called as an area we don't call it as a method, we call it as a method signature because it's going to be followed and implemented through the structures in this program. Okay, so uh, this area is going to be method signature which takes the float kind of data, float 64 kind of data. Okay, so uh, this is implemented. Once this is over, it returns to this function where it's been invoked. Okay, so when it comes over here, it is going to it has to return an area of uh, shape of area here okay so this particular function will be invoked here okay so uh, in this particular function of area will be invoked for both circle and rectangle here okay so once this is invoked we have to return the value of area of circle and the value of area of rectangle okay so to calculate the value of area of circle and rectangle you do have a similar kind of argument in this function as well i put the word carefully here not the same but the similar because here the shape is a interface type and circle rectangle is going to be a structure type so uh, this one gets called and not actually called uh, the structure variables are you know uh, borrowed from this circle rectangle structures here so what are the variables means uh, we have this variables of x y and radius that takes the value of that takes the type of float 64 xy could be the coordinates and radius could be the radius of the circle and uh, width height could again be the uh, dimensions of a rectangle here so the value of uh, area of circle and rectangle are returned to the main program where it's been printed the circle area and rectangle area are printed here and uh, we'll see how the results come by so once you implement that one 
the results come by okay, some some issue here we'll try to sort it out So here's the result. Mm, I didn't save it last time, so that is the reason I'm not I'm getting an answer like uh, not defined get area. Okay. Uh, so since we are given float 64, it's able to give us in lot of uh, with lot of decimal places. So that's it. So I repeat again, interface is going to be a representation of a set of method signature. Here area is going to be a method signature. Okay, nothing more than that. And the structure variables here we have two structure variables: circle and rectangle. And make no mistake, every type should start with a capital letter. You are aware of it. So they are going to implement this uh, method signature. Okay. So there is a shape dot area. That is, we can in, we can define uh, the whole interface method signature as shape dot area. Can be implemented as rectangle dot area and circle dot area. As in main. Okay. You can see in main you can get a rectangle dot area and circle dot area from these functions. Clear. So that's it about interface. Interface will be supported by structures always to implement an interface. To implement an interface, we'll have structures will be supporting interface. And uh, how it will be su supporting is those method signature will be specifically implemented there. For example, here the generic thing is shape dot area, which is implemented, which is uh, given in uh, type interface. And specifically, it's been implemented as rectangle dot area and circle dot area. Okay. I think you can follow this one. Uh, let me know if there's any suggestions or comments or anything on this video and meet you in the next video. Until then, it's bye.